last part of our special build up to the APC National Convention tomorrow and as, le as well as legacy projects of the ruling party, tonight we have a special guest here on Newsnight. Governor of Ekiti State, Kaode Faemi, Minister of Transport, Rotimi Amechi, and Presidential Advisor on Nine Delta Affairs, Senator Ita Enag. All right, uh, let's bring in the Honorable Minister for Transportation, uh, Rotimi Amechi. Thank you very much for joining us uh, on Newsnight. Well, maybe we should uh, start by saying congratulations uh, because from all indication, the APC convention is uh, about to uh, take place come tomorrow, 26th of uh, March. But let's talk about President Buhari's legacy projects. And the key one that comes to mind, of course, is the rail project uh, that has been really at the con you know, in the consciousness of Nigerians. But uh, a few weeks ago, you came out, you know, raising the alarm that funding for the rail may be stalled. Uh, what's the situation with that first? Well, I think I had a meeting today with the Chinese ambassador. It appears there is going to be an improvement. The uh, Chinese ambassador met with us, and uh, they are keen on releasing funds for Kano Kaduna. So I hope that that will be something that the Chinese government will finish on time. Uh, so that we could, our, our target is to ensure that we we'll complete if nothing else, complete Kano Kaduna before we depart from, or before we, uh, our tenure comes to an end. We will also commence, as, as we're also looking for the funds, we've gotten funds for Kano Maradi, we're also looking for funds for Potakot Meduguri. Uh, we believe that before the end of June, July, we should be able to get these funds to commence work. The same as uh, Lagos Calabar, mm -hmm. we've gotten the Turkish company who would, do, who would work with uh, CCCC in the construction. And the Turkish company, Yapi, has promised to also get the funds for Potakot mm -hmm. Calabar. So the country is covered. The only place that is left for now will be the uh, Abuja Itabe that goes to Wari. We already have Wari Itabe, okay. but we want to connect Abuja to Itabe and then do a seaport in Wari. It's left for now because we have a disagreement with the Chinese company. We hope that once that's resolved, we're able to see how to raise that kind of money. By the time you complete all this, the whole country is covered. Mm -hmm. Even though that's we're supposed to give specific attention to Kebi, uh, Zamfara, Sukutu, uh, Adamawa, and Taraba. Well, what exactly what? are the areas of disagreement before I... Yeah. Between who? Between the Nigerian government and the Chinese. No, no, I think, it's, it's, I think it's, it's just... What exactly there are no disagreement, it's just paucity of funds. Okay, okay. And... Uh, as you cover the <coughs> country with um, what, the, the train transportation uh, minister, did you, in that conversation you had with the Chinese ambassador today, did you also bring up the issue of uh, this incessant breakdown of the coaches mm -hmm. uh, that we've been witnessing in recent times? Because uh, it is on record that you said we you know might be returning some of them back to China. You know did you say that? You know, and was I didn't that say that. I didn't say that. Okay. And you know why I laughed? Why? Very soon now, you, you like to do my friend, you accuse me of being rude. <laughs> when you use the word incessant, it means regular. Yes. Mm -hmm. Please, can you enumerate the number of times you've got For instance, uh, there was just one in, in, uh, in, 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 in Lagos in Baden. Okay, one. There, there was, was one. one, 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 one two, there was three, also three. one in Abuja. Two. Okay, does it call it incessant? But that's uh, more than uh, one. That's more than one. Uh, Should it be <coughs> happening in the first place? Please, please, please. When you use the word incessant, mm -hmm. it's regular. Every week. Okay, so several. Several Maybe breakdowns. Two, though, cannot be It's more several. than two, Honorable Minister. But that's not even the point. The point is, they this, are breaking These trains, they're not. These okay. trains started operating in 2016. Even let's even assume you had ten breakdowns. Okay. These are machines. Are you saying this is normal? Of course, it breaks down in other countries. But the reason why you can there's noise in our case is because we don't have enough uh, train railway lines. Mm -hmm. You don't have enough coaches and locomotives. If they were, uh, if you had enough rail lines, coaches, and you wouldn't know when one breaks down. Because as what breaks down, they, okay, let me give an example. Okay. I, I was coming back from uh, Kaduna one day, and I got to Kubwa and I stopped. Then I saw a train that was supposed to have passed mm -hmm. on my way to Abuja. And then I asked the manager at Kuba, what's going on here? So, oh, that the locomotive, the front locomotive is bad. I came down and said, use mine. Did he see it? Did he hear it on TV? 
Mm. Is it here because there was already a standby one that I came down that, that they quickly change. change immediately and moved on. So the more locomotives and coaches we, we buy, the more you will not, the less you will hear of the noise. Mm -hmm. Secondly, is that these are not even human beings will break down. Four or five weeks ago, I was ill for four days. I was scared. And my daughter was insisting, you're breaking down, you need to rest, you're breaking down. And Is it a challenge it a for the ministry? Well, there's more of the ministry. Or more of you're looking better now. Oh, well, better. Yeah. Okay, now, I mean, you, you recently emphasized the need to actually utilize local materials and manpower in the construction of real projects in Nigeria. Very sound Argument. position. What is happening? Oh, no, we're, we're that, having that fight. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you looked at the social media, there was this blackmail that you're seeing where um, uh, well, the Chinese company denied. People were saying, oh, I mean, she's forcing them to take Nigerians of, uh, of his choice and all that. None of my business. I don't, want to, I don't care who you take, but I, I can't be spending $2 billion on the rail and there are no Nigerians to benefit from it. I insist on that. You don't have to take from me. You don't have to take from the ministry, but follow your due process and choose Nigerians to make money out of it. Because it's a Nigerian economy. You just really have to allow Nigerians benefit. There's no way you can liberate Nigeria from poverty if they don't participate in the process of uh, production. Mm. So, but I think we're resolving it for them to allow Nigerians to. Okay. How to is that being resolved? I mean, are well, they getting they, the is, requisite is, is training? There, is there in the contract? So they must comply with the contract. If they don't comply with the contract, it's a breach of contract. Okay. And how would you evaluate the impact of this infrastructure development of the Buhari administration, which you lead the Ministry of Transport in particular, uh, seven years down the line? How impactful has this been? Have you done an evaluation to say this is what we have done? Well, this is good. Abuja or Lagos? I live, well, in, I, could, I live in Nigeria. Abuja. I could move around. No, no. Minister. Where do you live? At the moment. Yes. Abuja. I am here with you, Mr. Okay. Do you, have you been to Kaduna before? No, I've not been to Kaduna. Okay, that's why. Right. You see, even if you don't, if not been to Kaduna, mm -hmm. the impact you will feel mm -hmm. here now is that there are people who no longer live in Abuja, but they live in Kaduna and come to work in Abuja. Because there's a 6 o'clock train that will get you here by 8. So by 8, 15, 8, 30, you're at work. And it's, 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 it's cheap, 3,000 Naira. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. As compared to what you get in the UK. Imagine that 10, 10 pounds. How much is 10 pounds? Or 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, so what the president has done by allowing us to construct that rail up to Abuja is that he has. How do you do poverty alleviation? He has taken away that burden of having to live in Abuja, provide for yourself and your family here, and go home to Kaduna, provide for another family there, mm -hmm. by taking you back to Abuja. Providing you one ha housing, because you don't have to pay for another housing here. But don't forget that the housing in Abuja is very expensive. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, the economy must grow through that, because it provides for the ordinary Nigerians too. It's, uh, it's the rich Nigerian that can live in Abuja, that like can live in Kaduna and drive to Abuja. For those who don't have cars, all you need to do is go to work, get out of your bed at uh, 5.30, by 6 you're at the train station, by 8 you're at work. By 6 p.m., you're back to the train station by 8 you're in Kaduna. Yeah, but how accessible are these trains to the average poor Nigerian? You know, I mean, 700, over 700 kilometers of rail uh, provided so far. Correct me if I'm wrong. Where's my phone? How many poor Nigerians have I had, access? I had my phone so here the, now. Yes, you, you did. Uh, because I wanted to show you yeah. how many Nigerians were coming to Abuja yesterday. You have seen it. <laughs> I want to show you how many Nigerians were coming to Abuja yesterday from Wari. And so you can imagine how many ordinary Nigerians were at the train station that were conveying from uh, were conveying from Wari to Abu to to Abuja mm -hmm. and at a cheap cost. And I would make that analysis again. You can see it. You can see them. You can see the madness. Is that what we have on the right. screen? No, I don't know about no, all no, that. It's okay, not. So okay, you, I see. You can see the crowd. Yeah, a whole so can, when you say all oh, Nigerians, how many other Nigerians can you are you able to provide for that? They are, they are, mm. they are, they are huge. They are, see the number. See, see the crowd. Right. Are the okay. average cost of, uh, of okay? Let's take the analysis of worry. Yeah. They to, I have flight from worry to Abuja is about sixty thousand naira. So you come from worry to to Itabe, two thousand five hundred. You join the taxi from. Mm, Itabe, mm -hmm. Tabuja, mm -hmm. 3,000 naira. How much is that? 2,500, how much is that? 5,000. 5,000. So, uh, you've saved 55,000 naira. 
The president doesn't need to put money in your pocket. What he has done there is that he has saved you 55,000 naira, which ordinarily, if you had flown from Wari to Abuja, you would have been paying 60,000 naira. So both the rich and the poor can assess that. And don't forget, I say 2,500. That's a think. fair argument. But how many kilometers of rail have you or provided so far? And what, is the, to thousand. what is the projection for what will meet the needs of what, close 200 to, million Nigerians? We are close to 1,000 which has never happened. Don't forget, this is the first indigenous government that is constructing that, those railways. We're not repairing, we're constructing. So you have about, 3, 000, about 350 kilometers of rail line from Itabe to Wari. You have 186 from Mabuja to Kaduna, right? Mm -hmm. That would be 500 and something, right? You have 156 from Lagos to Ibadan. That okay. is uh, close to about 9,700, right? Okay. Then we are constructing already another 200 kilometers of railway from Kaduna to Kano, which at the end of the day will be about 900 and something kilometers of railway. Okay. Uh, okay. Some will say, I mean, the latest well, statistics shows that about 39.1% of Nigerians live below the poverty line, line of one dollar ninety cents so five thousand naira mm -hmm. might still be a lot but let's leave um the rail transport for a minute minister recently nigerians have been inundated with reports of the billions of dollars we are losing to oil theft and we have uh, nimasa which is an agency under your ministry supposed to uh, oversee security of our safe of our waterways what is happening with Nimasa? How is it possible that we're losing this oil we don't on the waterways? Nim Nimasa, what does, has happened? Nimasa doesn't protect oil th theft. What Nimasa protects is merchant ships. Mm -hmm. Recently, have you heard about merchant ship? Uh, uh, any this I guess mer merchant ships? Well, speaking of merchant sh uh, mm -hmm. ships, I mean, the, the vessels, vessels that are being taken out. Yeah, the vessels, now, the vessels the, 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 that are being taken the, the, out. The, the stealing is not from the ship. The stealing is from land. Right. So you should find out those. And taking on water out yeah. of Nigeria. They're not taking on the w major water. The, the master protects the oceans, the coast coastal lines. Uh, we have not seen them. I'm not joking because we have security on the water. We have equipment that we bought that will help a deep blue project equipment, and they are there. They fly. We fly. We have three aircrafts that fly almost nearly at the same time, and we no that's two. Then we have helicopters that fly carrying cameras and all that. So for now, our water we appear to be secure. Are you saying in spite of uh, the 95 or so percent of Nigeria's oil that's spirited out, that's smuggled out, we don't know the vessels, we don't see we where do, they no, are? No, 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 we don't see those. those, 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 if, those if those vessels go across our water, we'll arrest them. You must have arrest them. So you, I think if you, the issue of security of waterways mm. in terms of oil, why not allow the Minister for Petroleum to address it? I can address oh, right. when it comes to the security of waterways as it affects merchant ships. And I can tell you clearly, we have, uh, yes, you can make, make the argument that the vessels that carry this oil to are also merchant ships. But if we see them, we'll arrest them. Okay. And okay. if we are able to arrest others, why can't we arrest them? And I, I can tell you for sure that Nimasa is not culpable yet. I've not seen any. All right, just like we asked uh, the uh, governor of Ekiti State who was here before you. Uh, your name, too, has appeared on the list of those who want to be president in 2023. As a matter of fact, on the morning show today, there was a support group of yours speaking out and saying that you are their preferred candidate. Perfect. Tell them to are you me. running for tell, president? Tell them, tell them to, you don't know what to do. You should give me this money that you need to do. But are you running for president? <laughs> You're not getting the question I said. I said, tell them to give me this money. When they come to approach you that they want to appear, and if they have money, they should give me. See, I need money to survive. <laughs> they, should, they, should give, they should give me the money. And your party today decided that uh, political appointees will not be voting at the convention. Ordinarily, you should be a are delegate. They, I, don't, I don't know whether they are right. Because there's a court judgment mm -hmm. that stops that law. I don't know what, 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 how safe they are trying to be. Uh, they have to tell us because we can also go to court to stop them. So you're not happy that are you're you not planning to, to do that? You're you're no, I'm not planning to go to court. But I said, I, I've not been approached. So I'm, I, until, I see the, until I see the national chairman tell me I can't vote, that's when I would know that. The, the, that so are you me. saying you're likely to vote tomorrow as I a don't delegate? Know. I don't know. I'd like to the place. Okay. Because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a former speaker and a former governor. I'm entitled by the constitution of the of the party to vote and if the if the court in uh, in, in Omaha Omaha said the law is unconstitutional it means that what is today the law is that law excluding section 8412 
So nothing makes my vote illegal. What's your take on the controversy uh, surrounding consensus candidate for chairmanship mm. of your party? Where do you stand? I'm not a, uh, look, I'm not a chairman of the party. I thought you were here, were here to, for you to ask me about legacies of, of President it's Legacies Biden. and the convention. No, the I'm not, convention I, I, is barely hours away. I'm just one person in the convention, not even a very important person. I'm okay. just, I'm just a, 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 yeah. can, a delegate. Great. All right. Um, finally, I mean, you, you were to banned as the Dan Amana of uh, Daura, mm -hmm. and that raised quite some dust, you know. Uh, so congratulations, so, so by so the way. So why congratulations. So why first there? of, mm -hmm. you didn't invite us, so there's, I mean, we won't the, get the crashed. Emir, the Emir of Daura invited are you. Anyone? Are you the favored son of Daura? And does it have political connotations, as some say, that it may just be an indication mm -hmm. that... You know, you read meaning to everything. In fact, if my wife had come there, that day, I'd be meaning to have come. <laughs> 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 the, the, I, I, I want to first and foremost express my gratitude to the people of the Emir and the people of Daura, which includes the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Emir uh, confirmed me that, that, that title, told me that what, which is more out of the recognition of the contributions I have made in terms of education. We are building the university in that place. It wasn't part of the contract. I'm not joking about that. It wasn't part of the contract. Even that was a controversial issue. No, well, for, I have a right. If I could negotiate out a university, I have a right to. I, I have also negotiated another one, which will be started in my village. My village. Mm. <laughs> it is my decision to make, having been able to sit down with the contractor and say, listen, you can't cut away all these funds to China. Mm. You must leave something behind that Nigerians will remember. That's one. Secondly, I believe that if we don't train Nigerians on the management and construction of railway, when these people dump this technology, they will go and won't understand what it means. We won't be able to maintain it and we'll go, we'll go back to where we started from. So if we don't have to go back to from where we started from, then we need to learn what it is about and proceed with that. So the first step I took after becoming minister is to send, to agree with the Chinese, to send about 150 Nigerians to China. Just like we send about 150 persons to Portugal to go and study railway technology. After that, it occurred to me that that's not enough. Supposing these 150 Nigerians get old and die, what happens? So I also got into a bargain with them. All these are not part of the contract. Mm -hmm. I also got into a bargain with them that, listen, it's not enough that we're sending 150 Nigerians to China to train. Mm -hmm. Why not you build an university where we can train other Nigerians here and on railway technology and other forms of transportation? transportation. Mm -hmm. It took quite some time for us to agree. And we agreed for 50, uh, 100 million, is it 50, or 50 million dollars. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're doing. They're about to finish. That's what the that's what the MA recognize. And that's what the people of uh, Daura recognize. They are able to be able to bargain for that. Okay. They insistent on citing it in Daura. Right? right. Secondly, there's a rail line that may cross Daura up to uh, Maradi. And they, 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 they felt like look, this man, not just because you do it's going to pass through Daura, you're a good Nigerian. I thought I was a good Nigerian. And that's a good place to live. It's Honorable okay. Manish South Transport Rotimi Ameji. Thank you so much for My being pleasure. on these lines tonight. Pleasure. It's time for a short break. When we return, we'll have more for you, including business. Stay with us. <laughs>